Let her rip, Tater Chip. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Camping Corner. It's Mallory and... Tony. So, we know that there's a lot going on right now with the coronavirus, which we're not going to ignore it, but at the same time, we're just going to have a fun Camping Corner show, and we're not going to focus on it, because... Let's face it, we've all watched so much on... It's, you know, you can't... Right now, you can't do anything without hearing about it. You can't yep. you, know, you can't go to the grocery store without not only seeing it in the stores, but hearing about it in the lines or anything like that. So, you know, guys, look, we're, we're 12 days. I, don't, I didn't, you know, I didn't check the date. We're 12 days away from uh, spring. Mm-hmm. The campground opens, our campground opens April 11th. Let's let's talk about the stuff that people really want to be doing. Let's talk about camping. Yeah, let's just have fun. All right, guys. Enough said about that. Let's get on with the good stuff. So you're watching episode 10? I think so. I think? Yeah. Something like that? I think it's 9 or 10. 9 or 10? Super cool, guys. Having a great time. So as always, we're going to start off with some of the funny stuff we've seen around the web. All right. Here we go. So... Five star hotel versus a five billion star hotel. I'll take the five billion star any yeah, day. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in for the five billion. It's great. You know who doesn't like sitting up watching the the stars, sitting out by the campfire. Mm-hmm. You know, you got the little popping and cracking of the the campfire, the little ember that floats up into the air. Right, and let's I'm, face it, it's cheaper, right? It's your own bed. You know the last time you washed those linens, right? Because it's yours. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and I know who's been in there and who's touched what. And, <laughs> exactly. You know, um, I only give my friends Jordan and Dan, you know, cans. <laughs> They're not way. allowed to use your cups. No. That's just <laughs> messy. The good thing is alcohol kills everything. That's true. So. That's true. That's good. <laughs> but, uh, and, and then I, I did get a kick out of the, I just want to go camping with the, the, the kangaroo. kangaroo Who's laying there all sultry? How you doing? <laughs> That's probably you at your campsite. <laughs> in, in my my zero gravity chair, I like to lay on my side, <laughs> look off at the distance, all sultry. And there's those visuals, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did love the the picture this week. Uh, we posted on our website the lighted um, bridges through the woods. Mm-hmm. I think it's in Indonesia. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. It's it's beautiful. I don't know of anybody who wouldn't. I'm, I don't like heights. And I don't like those yeah. little rickety bridges or anything like that. But I could probably suffer through, you know, taking a, a, a walk across that because it's it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. So yeah. make sure you guys see the pictures. All right. So as probably not everybody knows, but we've got two bald eagles on the property. And apparently one of them really made themselves known the other day. So it's pretty cool. We like watching for them, trying to find them. It's a neat little thing. When we're, I know when I'm driving around the lot, I'm always trying to find them. Yeah, and you, when we take clients around, you know, you're always showing them where the nest is and all that stuff. And, and the other day, that one happened to be sitting up in that dead tree all flexing and, yeah. you know, getting down with the baldness. I got it. I got it. So, you know, I did have a great experience the other day talking about the eagles. So I was, I had taken some clients over and shown them the nest and we were looking all over the place for them and we came back up and parked up behind the building and it was kind of breezy that day. And here comes one of them just kind of wings open, just yeah. kind of gliding across and came out and gl- you know, went across the pond. And, and the client, you know, we get, admittedly, we get so used to mm-hmm. seeing them mm-hmm. That, you know, for us, we're just kind of like, hey, look, that's the eagles, you know, or or I saw one of the eagles today or, you know, there's the eagle over there. We get so used to seeing them, but, you know, I'm, I'm almost 50 years old. Mm -hmm. So the reality is up until a couple years ago, the only place I'd ever seen bald eagles is in pictures uh, on the internet or in school. Right. And now, you know, we, we share space with them you know, daily. And, and the clients that I had were so excited. They were trying to take pictures and all this other stuff. So <laughs> super cool. Neat. God, you're old. <laughs> Tony is old. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm being very pleasant today. <laughs> Age is just a number. That's right. <laughs> oh, goodness. So the next one. So have let's have some fun and choose your favorite way to camp. So what out of all of those, Tony, which one would you choose? Um, you know, I'm good for taking 
I mean, any of them but the tent. I'm out on the tent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. This this old body isn't in the tents. My my son uh, Colton, um, who's 13 now, a few years ago he wanted to join Boy Scouts. Yeah. So he was so excited about the camp out. Right. Until he found out that we had to camp in tents. Yeah, because it's. So we get there. There's all these, you know, these Cub Scouts there, and we're all going to do this thing. And I'm blowing up my air mattress to put in the tent. And other parents are like, what, what are you doing? I'm, I'm not sleeping on the ground. Are you crazy? <laughs> no, yeah. last time I camped in a tent, I was seven months pregnant with my daughter and never again. Yeah, I'm, never I'm out. Never again. But if we could mix and match, you know, take... I like the locations of the tents. I'm, right. you know, be up there, you know, when you're overlooking the water and the mountains. That's super cool. I don't know so much about E. I it's don't, cold. I don't. I don't think I don't. I've ever really went. Hey guys, let's go camping it's, in the yeah. snow. <laughs> I don't do snow. You know, I don't even like to let the dog out when it's snowy <laughs> and cold. Let alone sleep in a tent. I know. Hey, let's get in a tent. <laughs> yeah, if I could combine like A and B, like let's just take the camper from A and put it on B's. So I'll post this for the snowmobile. Keystone released a bunch of videos, we shared a few of them, of people taking their campers up to snow destinations. They had toy haulers and they were taking their uh, snowmobiles snowmobiles and skis and they would go out during the day, snowmobile ski, come back into their warm, cozy camper in the evening and stay all night. So look at that. that, That's different than camping in a tent. Yeah, okay, so exclude the tent. Yeah, exclude (laughs) the tent, put a camper there, snowmobile, nice fire, you know, uh, Bloody Marys, cocktails, (laughs) take a cast with you in case you fall down skiing and need something. (laughs) Probably not medical assistance right around the corner. Probably not. But the, uh, and, and even C. You know, let's face it, I've been around the RV industry for a long time, and, and I have, I've dealt with clients multiple times on big, giant motorhomes, you know, 45-foot mm-hmm. motorhomes, and people say it's glamping and, and all that other stuff, but let's let's face it, they're still kicking it in the campground, mm-hmm. um, and, and the campground, if, if you've never noticed or never thought about it, the campground is the great economical equal, uh, economic e- equalizer. Yeah. You can hang out in the campground, and there you could hang out with a doctor and a blue-collar sewer cleaner on the weekend, and have the greatest weekend ever. Even sure. though they may never in normal everyday life, they may never come in in, in you know intertwine. Mm-hmm. But for that one weekend or that one week or that one night at the campground, man, everybody's equal doing their thing. Yes. I love this picture. I got a thousand and one questions. Um, first off, I want to know about the car. I want to know what year it is. I want to know, are you going to bring it by so we can take a look at it? Maybe <laughs> drool on it a little bit. Maybe come hang out at the campground with us. Uh, I'm a gearhead. Love that. And they've got a tent right next to it. Yeah, they've got like a whole, like there's three tents there. So yep. they must have the whole family. Got the little easy ups, um, everything like that. But yeah, this... Uh, Kim Howard sent that in, and that's you know that's how they camp, and that's super cool. I, yeah. I'm, I'm in. Love it. Oh. Did you oh, see the doggos? The puppies. Look at the doggos. They're look, they're hanging out by the pool. The dogs <laughs> are out by the pool. So we also got uh, Megan Terrell. Uh, we love to camp anywhere in our Keystone Cougar from Walnut Ridge. Uh, got a nice palm tree there. Um, looks like that may actually be in somebody's yard, but yeah. You know, I'm, right. I'm not opposed to camping in somebody's yard. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're visiting family or something. Could be. Got the cool, got the doggos by the pool. I love the puppies. You betcha. All right. So, Mark Knox. This is how I like to camp. Nice. So you got, it looks like you got a bunkhouse there, so probably have kiddos with you. Looks like a great, you know, another great experience. We got a great picture of, and notice, notice that, that, so Michael Walter sent in this picture. Uh, looks like they've got uh, the little one sitting in the lawn chair, and then somebody's trying to. Oh my gosh, they're taking my picture, so they're holding it, <laughs> sitting in it, you know, holding it. I don't, I don't want my picture taken. Are you ready? Is it a good picture? Can you see my face? I know they look so cozy. I like it. Got the awnings out, just kicking it at the campfire. 
you know, or around the, the campground, got the sunshine and bicycle. Got some training wheels up there. Somebody's going to be taking those training wheels off probably this year. <laughs> He's relaxing after practice. Absolutely. After we also got some other comments. Uh, Mark Steele, who's one of our top fans. Ooh, big bonus. I uh, like to camp in my Cherokee Gray Wolf that I bought from Walnut Ridge. Uh, how's that for a plug? <laughs> Do I win anything? You won being a top fan, Mark Steele. And mentioned on Camping Corner. You betcha. You're famous. 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 Uh, Shay Fisher, I, I know her, she's a friend of mine. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to take the class C in H and the spot in F. So she went back, let's go back. She went, the class C, Shay, that's a big giant class A. That's not a, that's not a class C. That's, a, so she wants the big giant motor home, but she wants to camp on H. So like, looks like maybe out in the desert. No, she said she's taking the camp spot or the, Class C in picture H, but going to camp site F. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I got you, Shay. Love you, Shay. <laughs> All right. Full-time RVers again. This is the Rise family. Um, so they actually have a baby on the way managing a family of five. That's pets included. The Rise family knows how to live full-time in their renovated fifth wheel. So, yeah, cool story there to read and check out. Um but yeah, cute little family. Love the RV. There are some pictures in here. I was, so I was looking through these pictures. The the one with the little girl like getting into the toy box. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about that that says that that's a camper? No, I mean it looks like an actual home. Like you would think you're in a home, not a camper. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. So they did a great, great job, guys. Make sure you check out all the pictures and yeah. you know give them some love. Uh, I'm sure they've got some uh, Instagram stuff that you can follow and so on like that. You know, changes to uh, 2017 Crossroads Volante, uh, changing the bunkhouse and making it more functional for them and their family. Yeah, more of a toy area for the kids. Yep. Beautiful job on the kitchen. That, kitchen, that kitchen's super nice. Yeah. Love it. And then added the shelves, or did, you know, redid the shelving in there. What's the buzz? All right. So we ran a contest on our Facebook page to win a pair of X chocks, which I know we featured um, in one of our episodes. So we just wanted to say congratulations to the winner. So Yay. congratulations. Psh, Woo. Confetti. <laughs> Dan would hate it, but can we get confetti to throw around? He can make <laughs> us clean it up. <laughs> yes, I would. Confetti and, oh, glitter. Moving on. <laughs> glitter. Dan doesn't like the idea, apparently. Moving on. All right. So, yeah, Tony, if you want to talk about we've started a text campaign. We started a text club. Yeah. Everybody wants to be part of the text club. Everybody. So here's what you got to do. Text Walnut Ridge, all one word, to 900-900, mm -hmm. and that'll get you entered. You know what you're going to get? What are you going to get? Well, you can also go to the website, and there's a form you can fill out. So mm -hmm. if you just go to our website, you can fill it out and become part of the text club. Okay. You will get, a few times a month, incredible flash sale offers okay. on products from our parts and service store. Mm -hmm. But wait, there's more. Because there's always got to be, but wait, there's more. Sounds like an <laughs> Doesn't cost you any money. <laughs> um, but we also may have some special sales on campers and things like that and discounts and so on like that. So lots of cool stuff. So yeah. that's our infomercial. And it doesn't cost you $19.99. No. <laughs> no. You don't have to pay separate processing and shipping. Nope. <laughs> or shipping and handling or processing and handling. You know, you were close. Yeah. We're not sticking a boat back together with some tape. <laughs> we're not going to put some stuff on a screen door and try to float it. <laughs> we're just going to give you discounts. Yeah. And you get to get text messages from us. That's right. Well, Mallory. Mallory's going to do all the texting. <laughs> do, I'm doing all of it. <laughs> While you're buzzing around the campground with the bees. There we go. <laughs> all right. That's that's a great idea, guys. So, so uh, uh, again, congratulations to the winner. And uh, join the text club. Get some text messages from us. Yeah. And who knows? We might even do more giveaways. What are we going to give away? I don't know. It's a secret. Let's give away. Let's give away something. Let's commit to giving away something that nobody, we don't have the power to do, but that'll force somebody into giving it away. Okay. 
let's give away um, you get the spot closest to Dan, our producer at the <laughs> campground, and Dan will fix dinner for you and your family at the campground. Deal. We need a thousand in the next 36 hours. Okay. So today is Friday. So by Monday morning, Monday morning, we need a thousand likes, a thousand shares, or a thousand people to join our uh, text club. Okay. And Dan will fix dinner at the campground for you and your family. Deal. One winner out of that. Did you hear that? Dan said it's a deal, guys. Deal. He is so mad. <laughs> he has beautiful hands when he cooks for you, too, just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. It might be cereal in a bowl <laughs> with cold milk. Yeah, we're not we're not promising much. We'll do it upright. We'll have steak, potatoes, <laughs> and we'll do it upright. Yeah. We'll, uh, you know, what a great idea. That's a great idea. Gadget Corner. Here we go. So we actually get a lot of questions on solar panels. We do. Lots and lots. Yeah. I don't know if people actually want to, to use them or if that's just become the thing that everybody asks about. Mm -hmm. But so many people ask about, you know, hey, is this solar ready? Is yeah. it solar prepped? How's it solar prepped? So. Yeah. Which to tell you, everything that we carry, Keystone, our Keystone products and our Forest Rivers are all solar prepped, aren't they? Yeah, I think I think because of green technology, I think most everything in the RV industry now is going yeah. going to that. Um, and and you know, unlike people get used to having the idea of, of solar panels on the roof of your house because mm -hmm. you know you don't take your house every place. Right. And so one of the best options really for solar in the RV industry are to do these modular panels and you can buy them in different sizes. They have a handle. They look like a big secret service because they're, they're like aluminum framed right. and they got a handle on them. So they look like you should have like a, a, like a, hand. a handcuff on and walking around someplace <laughs> like you're super special. Uh, but you know that those kind of cool things. And, and one of the things that makes those important is no matter how you slice it, the best spot in the campgrounds underneath the biggest shade tree. Mm -hmm. So if you had the solar panels and they were mounted on the roof actually of the RV mm -hmm. and then you had that great campsite, mm -hmm. now you're not getting enough, you know, you're not getting enough true. sunlight to them. So with the modular panels, you can put them any place. That's true. And these, you know, they're good. People ask us a lot because when they're boondocking or even if you're staying somewhere like a parking lot or something, you know, to get to each destination, then they can help you power some things while you're in those areas. Yeah, if you're tailgating and you need mm -hmm. to run the George Foreman grill or the, the Jimmy Buffett margarita machine, I oh, yeah, see, you yeah. can do that with your solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tony is in a mood today. I am ready to go camping. I am, I am <laughs> so ready for all this. And it was super foggy, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tony's anyway. bringing a brightness to our day, which is yeah. not a bad thing, guys. I'm a flipping ray of sunshine. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about industry news. Oh, now you want to talk about industry news. <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. So we've got this great video. We're just going to post a link for you guys to watch it because it is a little bit longer of a video. So. So, and one of the things that we thought was cool about the video is there are so many times that clients ask, you know, hey, can you do any customization on a camper? And, mm -hmm. and traditionally speaking with most manufacturers, you can't. Mm -hmm. This is a product, uh, the Oliver, uh, Oliver uh, Elite 2 travel trailer. It's built in Tennessee. Um, it is something that you can customize like all the way throughout. Right. Um, I don't believe it's something that you can buy at a dealer. I think it's something that you have to go. It's factory direct. Mm, okay. uh, but I watched the 20 minute video. Yeah. On it. It's a, it's a super cool piece of equipment. Um, it's got a lot of cool things. It's like fiberglass and yeah, all this cool stuff, <laughs> aluminum and you know, uh, guy stuff, <laughs> you know, got all this cool stuff, but, uh, and it's got twin beds in it if you wanted twin beds, but Super cool, guys. Check that out. Um, just to get, let you know that there are some other things out there that are um, right. completely customizable, from the flooring to the upholstery, and you know, most generally, it's you can have your choice of brown or less brown on the upholstery. Yep. Or true. Gr gray or darker gray. Or, yep. 
you know, anything you want as long as it looks like one of these two colors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Makes it simple and easy. Hey guys, in other industry news, Keystone rebrands its products and that spurs RVers to go out and live their dream. Which is awesome because we are seeing this every time on our show with our full-time RVers. They're redoing their campers. They're out, you know, living their dream. They basically have said, hey, we're not going to waste life. Let's redo our RV. Let's live in it. Let's travel and do what we've always dreamed of doing. Yeah, let's see all the places that, you know, nobody ever wanted to see. Exactly. Or they didn't realize they wanted it, to see. There you, go. there you go. I guess that's the fair thing. <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, you take, take, you know, get out and smell the world. And that sounds silly, but, you know, you take somebody who lives in the city. Mm-hmm. They have maybe grass, but if they live in a big city, you know, in, an, in an ur, you know highly populated urban area, they don't have a whole lot of grass areas. Matter of fact, some urban rejuvenation projects are actually planning grass areas because of the fact that, you know, everything's stone and concrete and brick and mortar and so on right. like that. So the idea of being able to get out and smell the world is to realize that, hey, grass and flowers and you know, nature smells are different than what you smell, you know, on your daily basis. So get out and enjoy that stuff. Yeah. You know, a campfire. Okay. Not a house fire, a campfire. I'm relatively sure they smell completely different. Never really hung out smelling a <laughs> house say. fire. Any of you firefighters that are watching, maybe chime in and let us know. Does you know does smell? the unfortunate happening of a house fire smell different than a campfire? Oh, the many questions of Tony. Guys, I think we've come to the end of another episode. Yep. I'm Tony. I'm Mallory. Just like I was at the beginning of the show. Same year. <laughs> Absolutely. No change in that. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. This was a little different episode. I, I, we're a little stir-crazy and maybe cooped up a little bit, so we're thinking about going out and doing other things. So until next time, keep hanging out by the campfire. All right. We'll see you then. See ya.